let me go through the top ten list for this year. First, we have a couple of items that are on, on the list that were on in a slightly different form last year, media tablets and beyond, and mobile-centric applications and interfaces. So I want to explore it in a few minutes, this whole idea of media tablets. If you were here last year, <clears throat> you heard me say, the PC era, PC era is over, welcome to the post-PC era, and we talked about tablets being a major force, and we've seen that really come through this year, but it's not over yet. There's key things that are uh, happening coming forward in this expansion of intelligent client devices and the way that you need to think about the world of client computing. Second is mobile-centric applications and interfaces. Your interfaces will change. The graphical user interface that we've come to think about, sometimes love, whether it's in a browser or on a traditional desktop application, isn't going to be the way that you build these things uh, in the future, or at least not for a lot of things. Contextual and social user experience, so I want to talk about this whole notion of context-aware computing, social interfaces and how it feeds into this. The Internet of Things, so intelligent devices all around us. Notice a theme here. Those top four plus number five app stores and marketplaces are anchored on various aspects of the, quote, mobile computing world, things happening off the desktop, or things like app stores that are being brought into the market and driven from that mobile world. But things that I'll talk about here are not just about mobile as some niche. This becomes a fundamental and primary part of your world. Just as the PC changed from the world of dumb terminals into intelligent devices, and for years we looked at how we dealt with those, it's now looking at intelligent devices that move into an ever-expanding world. And we've got to change our thought processes and our design points around that. Next items on the list look at next generation analytics, big data, and in-memory computing, which are things that grow out of and support this. We're gathering a lot more data. We're looking at new types of analytics, and I'll talk about where the next leading edge of this analytic phase is going to be. And in-memory computing is a shift in how we've thought about storing information and has a huge impact on those analytical systems and what we can do out in some of this mobile and e-commerce world. Number nine, this one might be a surprise to many of you, extreme low energy servers. So as I get to that, I'll talk about this new technique which is beginning to emerge in servers uh, that looks at a new way of thinking about servers. And the point to, to kind of tell you right now is that servers are not becoming some commodity. There is a lot of innovation going on at the server area. Last year, on the list was fabric computing. We talked about how fabric computing and integrated systems were evolving. This year we'll talk about another type of evolution. Both of those together represent uh, leading edge types of architectures. We expect to see more coming in the future, so watch that space. Uh, you can't, can't just look at servers being more commodities. And finally, you were wondering where it was, right? Cloud computing. You know, cloud computing is still the most hyped term and the uh, biggest search term on our, on our website and big inquiries. And so it remains important, but I moved it this year from number one to number 10 because we're all starting to build it into our strategic strategies. So, you know, yes, there's changes occurring and I want to highlight new things that you need to look at. It is still belongs on this list, but I want to make sure you're shifting your attention to some of those things at the top where even if you're looking at them, you're probably not looking at them in a really integrated and connected fashion, which is important. So it's also how all of these technologies reinforce one another that's critically important. The other thing I want to mention here <clears throat> is that as you look at these, you want to ask yourself, what is the impact of these technology trends on the human experience of your customers, your employees that are using your systems, the business experience, so how is it changing the way that you do business, and how the business operates, <clears throat> and how does it change the IT department experience, the way IT runs. And you'll find that all of these touch on all three of those dimensions, but as I've shown here, there's a few of them that are going to be more IT-centric, driving your IT environment, some others that are going to have a primary lead impact on users, and others where you go to the business and are talking about how some of those trends create new business opportunities or possibly business risk. So thinking in those three dimensions is very important. 